everybody, we're the Scots, and today I am here to talk to you about the awesome National Parks Passport Binder and other cool collectible souvenirs from our nation's national parks. So every year they put out a set of stamps that can be put in the passports. This is this year, which is a big deal because it's the centennial year of the National Park Service. And each one of these stamps would go in a different regional section of the passport book. And in most stores, you can find a stock of several years of them. This is actually one of the most extensive ones I've seen. They have all the different sets for each of these years for people who like to collect them. And the, the park that's featured for each region changes each year. So it's a pretty cool thing to collect if you're into that sort of thing. This is what your basic smaller passport looks like and we used to have one of these. We have a video on it that I can link to. But there's a sample one here that we can look at. And so it will take you through each region and tell you the different parks that are in that region. Give a little information. This is where you would put these stamps that I was talking about. They go here in each region and you can collect several of them and then you would put your your stamps from each place your actual passport stamps that you ink would go in the other spots they also make a kids one but it's not the actual passport itself it's a companion that basically explains um, things to kids makes it a little bit more kid friendly and uh, we bought the kids one of these and it basically just goes with the passport to give them a little bit more information. The regular passport is currently going for $9.95 and the kids companion is currently going for $6.95. One of our favorite things to collect from each park are these stickers. And you could put those in the small passport book in lieu of the other type of stamps, but we put them in our passport binder, and I will show you where. So this is what we have. We opted for the, the big passport binder, which is called the Explorer Edition. We bought this um, this past summer at Kings Canyon Sequoia Park. And I'm gonna open the example one for you here. It's a larger version so let's go to like a specific region. Under one region, it's going to give you a whole checklist of all the parks. And you can check them off as you visited. And then you have room for other sites. So there are certain like national monuments and smaller things, state parks you might visit that you could make note of there. And this one has, it's this way, a way bigger map of the region with every park that's in the region. And then it goes into more detail about each park, including phone numbers and a little bit about them. And then your actual stamp pages give you more room for the regional stamps. And then you can put your inked parts all along the side and the bottom. And every page is like that. So that's where we like to put these other stickers that we collect. Instead of the, the yearly stamps, we like to do these. So we'll put two here for the park that we're visiting and then put our cancellation stamps from visiting the park around here. It also, it also has a handy zipper pocket in the back and in ours we keep pens and things there. All kinds of mesh pockets. You can store park maps. The park maps will fit in the pockets in the front and back. If you have a National Parks um, entry card, you can keep it here. And um, we keep like a, there's a map of all the National Parks that we keep here in ours as well. So here is a packaged Explorer Edition passport binder explaining to you everything that it comes with. And there's an example you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the cancellation stamps. And I'll show you ours at the end of the video. And currently, these are going for $54.95. We really, really like ours and find it to be really valuable to us. We enjoy it a lot. This is a really nice, big National Park store 
coming to the bookstore is one of my favorite parts. I just love seeing all the merchandise and all the cool books and posters and t-shirts. And then, of course, we like to get our, our passport swag. So, so far I've picked out our sticker. We haven't found their pins yet, but I just really liked this uh, National Parks pin. So we're going to get that one for our bag. Postcards for people. And we also like to collect magnets for uh, Brian's mom. And when I see a store like this, I get excited, don't you, babe? Oh, yeah. We like the it's National really, Park stores. It's a really nice store. <laughs> it really is. So we also like to collect pins on our bag. And they have a, a few cool options of pins for the sand dunes. We have several that are this style, so we almost picked that one. But we decided to go with this one because it's a little bit different. And I love the patches, and if we had something cool to collect patches on, we would totally be collecting them. But they're kind of big and just something that we don't have a lot of room for. So we collect all the pins on our bag instead. But if you want to collect patches or stickers or whatever it is that you want to collect, there's always a ton of options. And then they also do the little um, tokens that are like collecting coins, but they're souvenirs. And you can get a little album for those too. So here's the little collector tokens you can buy. And like for sand dunes, you've got a little picture on the front and a little information about it on the back. And people collect them in these little albums, and they have slots for the coins in them. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Like so. So that's another thing you could collect. You can choose whatever you want to collect from the national parks. Just don't try to do them all, because that gets really expensive. So here's our awesome pin collection we have going on our bag that we'll be adding to today. Show them what's in the bag, Papa. Our passport oh. binder. And see, when you get to a national park, you can find their little stamping station here. So ours is going to be gold, Rocky Mountains. And as you can see, this color will match the ink color of the stamps that they provide. And another important thing to mention is see how they are now providing us this information here, which shows that there are three different stamps to get in this park. So if you're aiming to collect them all, that's very important. And that's why sometimes even though we only visit a park once, we have multiple stamps depending on the ones that were offered at that park. And they usually provide paper too, so if you were to forget your passport book, you could stamp on paper and put it in your book later, and you'll select, make sure it's the correct date. And today's the 26th. Today's the 26th, so someone hasn't changed it yet. See, it's important to check. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we'll practice first. And another great use for the paper is like we're going to send them to the kids to put in their passport books as well since they're collecting them. Okay, so now comes our favorite part, I think, is after we buy the swag, we like to put it all in our stuff. We like, like to we just... <laughs> apply the swag. <laughs> it's so much fun. So we got two pins this time because we got the sand dunes pin. Oh, that one's cool. Right? Okay. And, and the America's National Parks pin. So I get to decide. I love that. Get to decide where they go on our little little bag here. And so we do have a, a 2016 National Park Service Centennial one right here. Okay. Ideally, I would love for this to be here with it, but we super glue these um, pins on the back so that they don't come off all the time. So I can't move those. They are super glued. See the back of those again. We just have the pins glued to the inside of the little mm -hmm. stoppers. So I gotta pick a different spot. But since this one's kind of like an America one and not a specific place, I want it to be somewhat centralized. So what do you think, babe? Like maybe right up here? I think centered above the Yosemite, yeah. And then we can collect more pins around it. All right there. Looks good, right? Oh. Very cool. And then we get our sand dunes one. Right here, it actually kind of fits really nicely in the... I think that's a good spot right there. A little curve there. Yeah, I think it's a great spot. You know, obviously we picked this up at Yosemite. 
but we're using it for our entire pin collection. And look how many we have already. It's our swag bag. It's awesome. We're just loving it. And this is all just from last summer and a little, little, little bit of this year. Uh, we've got Grand Canyon, Yosemite, Redwood National Estate Parks, Kings Canyon, Yellowstone, the Alamo, Tuzigoot National Monument, Montezuma's Castle National Monument, Rocky Mountain National Park, Petrified Forest, Painted Desert, Sequoia National Park, uh, Jedediah Smith's Redwood State Park, Crater Lake National Park, Joshua Tree National Park, California State Parks. Uh, I think we have two Grand Canyons. We have well, yeah, because they were pretty. And we have two Yosemites, and then we have Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. So, collecting quite a few, and now sand dunes, yay! All right. Okay, and now for our passport binder. So now that we've actually been here, I'm going to the Yellow Rocky Mountain section because that's where we are, and you can't forget to mark off where you have been. And I just so happen to have colored pens and markers in the back. We are such nerds. To coordinate with our beautiful binder. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're really nerds about this. We're pretty, this. pretty nerdy about this. So we're in Colorado. Are, are we? We are? Yep. And we are at Great Sand Dunes National Park. So scribble, scribble, scribble. There goes that one. We've All been right. here now. Yay. So that's the first thing I like to do. Make sure we mark it off of our list. Look how many more places we have to go. It's ridiculous. And that's just in the Rocky Mountain region. Right. And we've been, most of the places we've been so far have all been in the western region. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty exciting for us to be in a different color. Because <laughs> Rocky Mountain National Park, I think, is the only other one we've been to in this region so far. And that's here. Because oh. apparently they don't have a sticker like this there. Which is ridiculous. Hopefully at some point they will and we can put it in here. But now, here's our page. Oh no, Yellowstone was also in this region, so we have been to one more. And so we're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the Yellowstone pages, and we're going to put our great sand dunes stickers on here. Don't mess it up. Well, I learned that I really shouldn't do this when we're driving, driving, driving because I've gotten some that were really super crooked. <laughs> and she can't stand that. No. So we had to go buy. Good enough. We had to go buy another set of stickers. <laughs> I, and I put them on straight. I don't aim for perfection, but this was like really bad. It, it was, was really like bad. it was like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. We have our great sand dunes page all done. We have our four different stamps we got from here with um oh, so I thought there was only three, but that's why this one's the centennial one that shows the hundred years. And then these are the three different stamps that they offer here, and we got the right date on all of them finally. So we're good to go. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed learning about not only the National Park's passport and passport binder, but all the different options there are for collecting stuff at the National Parks. Just don't try to collect them all, because let me tell you, that would get really expensive. It's really you know, expensive. The, the patches are cool, the stickers are cool, the postcards are cool, the, the pins are cool, everything is cool, but we had to really like narrow down, okay, what is good for us? And as our viewers, we didn't have room for bigger stuff so we chose the pins so we could put the you know a bunch of small pins all on one thing and we chose to do the stamps so that way we're not collecting a whole bunch of other stuff that we don't have room for and pins run what would you say like maybe four or five dollars a piece yeah depending on the pin and these little sticker sheets run two to three dollars a piece and then getting the stamps stamped is free so once you've invested in the binder the rest of the time it's free so we basically spend about eight bucks or so to get a sticker and a pin from each place now we do tend to buy postcards to send out as well and magnets to send to Brian's mom so that ups it a little bit but we're not collecting those for us so as far as our little investment goes I think we've found a good way and I hope that you guys will too so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed bye